Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, guys. May or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Okay? Uh, some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. And um, someone could be coming towards you. Okay, this could be travel. Uh, so someone's traveling towards you, someone's coming in full speed. Okay, someone's on the loose out here like that. Sheer determination you know, and willpower to make things happen, or someone wants to move forward, you want to move forward. We'll see. Okay, this is Cancer in the love life. Mid December 2021. Alright, let's do this. Coming to the grand situation. Okay, so Cancer, uh, for a few of you, I feel that could, you could be waiting on communication, okay? Waiting on communication from someone who broke your heart, you broke their heart. But there is pain out here, okay? Uh, I feel a lot of you are waiting for someone to come towards you and apologize, or you're just waiting for someone to come towards you and communicate. What's on your mind is the Empress here, yeah. So see, it's coming off as, uh, I'm not gonna reach out, for sure. I'm not chasing. I'm just gonna sit there pretty, attract you. If you're meant to be, you're meant to be. If you're not, I got my own shit to do. But yeah, you're waiting for this person very patiently to come towards you, you know. And it's more like you're in that empress energy, right? Where uh, you're probably being very cold to this person, okay? Giving them the cold shoulder. Or just um, indirectly, by doing you, realizing your worth, realizing your value, you're just shutting this person out, okay? And this person gets an idea that you are someone who could have got away. And uh, you're patiently waiting for communication. Yeah, see in the past year, you could be dealing with someone here who was just breadcrumbing you. Okay, this person here was probably just giving you bits and pieces to stay around in the connection here. Okay, give you enough uh, to keep you in the connection. For the others of you, maybe this person was not giving you the entire package. You know? Like, the love was there, but it wasn't enough to keep you in the connection, okay? And you probably could have tried to make this work out over and over and over again, but you're just, you know, like, nah, never mind, that's just a missed opportunity, and you walk, you walked away, which is why I said you were the one who got away before even this card came, and I told you, right? You could have been the one who got away, and now this person is like, okay, that's my um, left here, kind of doesn't want to sleep. Okay. Uh, so with the seven of wands here, I think you're blocking this person out. That's like a strong energy, you know, where back off, you're not a part of my energy anymore. We broke up. You want to get back to me, you can get back to me. For others of you, I'm also getting that there are chances you could be moving towards uh, opening up communication with other people, you know, exploring your options for a few of you. Uh, so I'm getting two scenarios here. Some of you are waiting after a breakup for someone to communicate with you, apologize maybe. For the rest of you, there has been a breakup out here, you broke your heart here, and now you're in that energy where you know, are you, not at all. I mean, I mean the one that you're dealing with, okay, or whoever you had a breakup with. It's like you, not at all, okay, I don't want you for sure. For the others of you, okay, and it's like you're completely blocking this person out. I'm also getting for a few of you where you're in that energy where now, you know, it's like you're saving through, you know, the kind of people that you want to entertain in your life. You know, it's like you're you're not ready to entertain anyone and everyone because it was a lesson learned here, once bitten, twice shy, and now it's like no more. I'm not repeating the past mistakes again. Okay, let's see. In the future, okay, so like I said, I feel some of you could be trying to work on a connection with other people here, okay? Uh, just trying to know other people out here, you know, like coordinating, you could be meeting someone through work, someone through study. For the rest of you, there could be someone who you already have an established relationship with, maybe they're coming back, we're going to clarify, they're coming back to work on this connection. See, um... All right, so with death as the overall energy, I feel that something's coming to an end here. Ten of swords, death here. I think you're absolutely just over and done with this, dusted. 
this could be a connection cancer that you have been holding on to for a very long time okay and you could be trying to pursue this connection or you know just resisting an end out here although you know you were dragging a dead horse here it's like no it'll work out no it'll work out one more time let's try it one more time let's try this one more time eventually i think this person pushed you to a point where um you were just like you know what enough that's just enough that's okay so yeah you're holding back and your emotions here i feel you're so hurt you're so hurt that you're coming off as a point where you're just like so shut off you're so closed off could be closed off to someone new also but overall you could just be very very closed off you know like i don't want no one and even if i do want anyone cancel it's more like i want to see to it that you i'm like a 10000 percent sure before you let you into my life it's like you're so guarded now the person that you're dealing with here i feel this person does want a reconciliation clarify okay let's start clarifying first what's the death here so i feel that whatever you were resisting right it's coming to an end here but along with that ending there's a huge transformation coming in there's a huge change coming in for you maybe this could be someone who's evolved okay maybe your relationship is evolving here or you as a person are changing okay you're just letting go of things that don't make you happier that don't serve you what's the what actually let me use the diamond i love the diamond it's a little tough uh, to interpret but i still love try for the death try for the death what is this that why is the death the overall energy for cancer why is that the overall energy for cancer See, you're ending a burden out here. You're ending something that was becoming too much of a struggle. For a lot of you, I feel that you could be dealing in a connection where you're always making the plans. You're always reaching out. You're always like, okay, now let's do this. Let's do that. Now we'll do this. Now we'll do that. You know, making constant attempts over and over and over again. But this person out here just refuses, you know, to put in any kind of work, you know, uh, trying to appreciate you. They don't appreciate you. There's a lack of appreciation for the kind of effort that you put in, okay? um let's see what's the page of wands here what's the page of wands so yeah you're ending a situation that's too much it's like an uphill battle you know it's like an ongoing battle if something was going on for a very long time in your life and you're just like dropping the road like fuck it what's the page of wands here in the current situation yeah baby you're moving on sweetie you're moving on you're moving on towards better things in life like i said for a few of you so the second thing that i said makes sense where you guys after a heartbreak you're just choosing to move on choosing to move to a better place some of you could be traveling some of you could be uh pursuing people uh you know uh online but uh yeah you're just choosing to move on it's like you know what life doesn't stop right you still keep doing you there's a lot of other fish in the sea what's the three of swords here Yeah. So someone either okay. Now two scenarios. Either there was someone you were married to or in a commitment to with, and they were cheating on you. So there could be a third party situation. For the others of you, maybe you wanted commitment with this person out there, and this person kept refusing you. Maybe they chose someone else over you. or uh, there was just a lot of stress around commitment here okay emotional and mental pain and trauma around the around the commitment or a marriage okay something that you wanted to be long term around a promise around a bond out here what's the empress what's the empress what's the empress yeah see you have clarity you have clarity okay now for a lot of you the clarity could have come in uh, through some communication okay maybe you had some communication with this person or you have clarity for the others of you this clarity could be just by word of mouth or probably you know uh, looking uh, other people giving you some information here whatever it is the truth has been revealed and now you're in a very you're, you're in a better place obviously right this was a very big burden for you right like i told you for a lot of you, you've been dragging this for a very long time and now you have clarity you know what you want something's just bringing you joy happiness okay it's a, it's a positive outcome because you anyways were not in that empress energy you were constantly insecure you were doubting yourself you were second guessing yourself you were codependent you were clingy you were needy but now all of a sudden you're just like you know what 
I'm the best and no one no no one can do that to me. Clap for the four of cups in the past. So there was a lack of movement here, is what I'm getting. Maybe you wanted a home, a family with someone here, but there was a lack of movement here, okay? And you just had to walk away. So there was a lack of transformation, a lack of change. A lot of you, you genuinely wanted a marriage or a happy family with this person out here, but that change wasn't happening. It was stuck, okay? Something wasn't just moving on to the next level here, and you were like, well, how long am I gonna be able to wait? Mm. What's the seven of wands here? Now you're blocking this person out and along with blocking that person out, like I said, right? Wands put in twice shy. So it's like you're saving through the kind of people who are coming towards you, okay? Be one, be careful about one thing. When we're in this energy, the seven of wands here, we're usually very, very defensive. So what happens when you're so defensive, right? You block out people unknowingly, as in you feel everyone's a threat, okay? And you have trust issues with everyone, obviously because of trust issues. But just see that, um, you make a wise choice. What's the seven of wands? What's the seven of wands? Where did that go? Okay. So uh, I do feel that this person is coming back. This person's coming back and you're just going to drop that answer. This is the same person here who was eating you away. A connection that was eating you away, which was causing a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, something that was creating a lot of chaos in your life. Maybe they're coming back. That's what I was thinking, right? Someone wants to now work on this connection. But yeah, this person here is coming in. But listen, it's like a quick come and go, okay? So I'm not saying that this person is just fooling around. Maybe they genuinely want to. But you're being defensive either because you know that this person's coming back or because this person's gonna come back and you have your cards off. Uh, three of pentacles. Why is that here? Someone wants to work on this connection. It's a wish come true for you, guys. It's a wish come true for you. But this person here wants growth with you, steady growth. This is a very spiritual connection. So whoever you were dealing with, right, your ex or whoever this is or whoever broke your heart, this is a very, very, very strong connection, guys. And you're just, it's going to be a hard time, okay? You're going to have a hard time trying to make things up with this person here because the attraction, the connection is so spiritual. It's so fucking strong. It's so grounded, you know, which means that this could be someone you have a history with, obviously, because the death and time assaults wouldn't come in otherwise. But this is someone here who probably started off with you very stable, but they would keep going on and off, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. For a lot of you, I'm getting this person here, it's like very difficult for them to keep up with the kind of effort and commitment that you put in into the relationship. You know, they just can't keep up with it. You know, they feel you're too much work. You're too much hard work to keep up with you or, you know, to impress you, not impress you, but to be with you on the same page is too much work. But maybe this time around, they're ready to do that. They're coming back. Your guards are up. But okay. Eight of Swords. Why is that? You know, they want something slow, stable growth. Okay. With you here. But it's a very grounded connection. So yeah, I do feel for a lot of you. If this is new, take it how it resonates. I feel this is the old one coming back. Eight of Swords. Why is that? You know? See, now what's happening here is you are stuck in your head. You want something long term. You want something stable. You want something that can hold on. You know what's happening here? You got. You are so stuck on this person out here. Okay, it's like. It's like how we try to anchor a ship, right? It's dug in so strong, right? Into the sand, into the shore. It just can't move. That's what's happening with you. This relationship has got you stuck on it so bad, so bad, that you, even if you see the reality for what it is, you can't move on here. It happens. It happens. It's fine. It's like a repetitive thought here, okay? Something's repetitively troubling you, okay? And this is something which is creating too much of... Um, negative thoughts in your life here okay but i do feel that it's you are as stuck as you think you are you are as stuck as you think you are cancer so if you think that you can get out of this connection then do it but it's only about the memories that you have with this person and it's like that strong um you know how we make a relationship with someone and it's so strong right it's got like we have so many memories with them and we are like um 
that strength, right, that you have, that connection that you have, again, being a spiritual connection, it's like, how can I just let this go? And those thoughts are hampering you, your mental health, where it's like you're overthinking. You know, that's a lot of overthinking. That's a lot of negative thinking. That's a lot of, I don't want to even remove the blindfold and think about moving on from this person out here, okay? Because I just can't stop. And for a lot of you, this could be a connection where you feel very restricted. You feel tied to it. You know, it's like no matter what happens, no matter how con how conflicted the connection is, I just got to be here because it's like that devil energy. Although I don't see the devil energy here, it's a minor arcana, which means you can get rid of it. Okay, it's not a big deal out here because there's repeated conflicts, repeated thoughts here. Okay, it's just going on and on and on and on. You need to get out of it. You can. You have the power. Temperance here. In your environment, is someone here who probably wants to compromise? What's the temperance here? Even a reconciliation. What's the temperance? Let's see. What's the temperance here? Clap for the temperance. temperance. Yeah, that's 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 someone who wants to reconcile with you. Okay. If you want commitment with them, probably they want to compromise. So it's not like um, you get what you want and they got what they want. Both of y'all are going to have to compromise you. Maybe earlier they were not ready to compromise. Maybe earlier there was a lot of drama, a lot of conflicts when it comes to the topic of commitment out here or marriage or whatever it is, right? But now this person wants to come in, okay? For a lot of you, this could be, uh, I could be reading for the male cancer out here, okay? And for the rest of you, if uh, you're a female out here, you could be dealing with someone who's a more feminine energy, okay? Somewhere where you always have to keep making the move. Like, come on, let's do this, let's do that here, okay? So don't be stuck up on the energy here. But someone wants to stay, wants peace. This person wants peace. This person wants harmony. But whatever it is, they're focused on growing slowly, okay? They're not like rushing in like that. And you're very closed off. You're very closed off. It's four of pentacles. It's like you're so hurt that you just want to block your heart chakra. You have trust issues with this person. You know, your defense mechanism is on. Is on. Yeah, for the four of pentacles. Yeah, for the yeah, see, you love this person. You love this person, but this person is a con man. This person's always playing games. They're very manipulative and... Even though you love them, this is someone that you just would want to spend your entire life with. But it's like you don't have a choice but to stay close to because you don't want to be backstabbed, betrayed, cheated and lied to again. You don't want to feel like stabbed in the back. What's the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords? So not only are you, sh are you stuck in your head, but at the same time, you, you know, Cancer, you're very scared. You're too afraid, guys. What's the ten of swords? There is an ending of a connection here which was where someone was... Um, now either there is some communication by the end where you probably may communicate to this person that probably it's over and done because I think in the future here there is going to be someone who wants to come in and collaborate with you and do teamwork with you. You can have that teamwork, they want to put in the effort and commitment, okay? But eventually eventually you will end it you will say bye bye to this person out here maybe it, it's a very strong connection okay it's a very it's someone who you've been very loyal to and uh, probably they've also been loyal to you okay but somewhere somehow they must they must have gone wrong somewhere something went wrong and it backfired but yeah there is an ending of a very very uh, good partnership out here and can i see you ending it they want to reconcile with you cancer but you're just calling it off and probably you'll just message them. Maybe there's some information that comes in is what I'm getting here, okay? Or you'll just email them. For some of you, it could be a divorce, not for all of you. But um, yeah, I see a lot of endings out here, Cancer. You're letting something go for sure. You are, okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hope this reading resonates. And do leave your comments below. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.